Halogenoalkanes have the general formula Cn H2n plus 1 X, where X is a halogen. Historically, halogenoalkanes have been used as refrigerants, aerosol propellants, and dry cleaning agents, owing to the fact that they are non toxic and have a high volatility. Their use, however, is in decline, since they are believed to be responsible for the depletion of the ozone layer. The polar nature of the carbon to halogen bond makes halogenoalkanes susceptible to attack from nucleophiles, a nucleophile being something that can donate a pair of electrons to form a bond. This is demonstrated in the hydrolysis reactions of halogenoalkanes. It is possible to gain an understanding of the relative reactivities of halogenoalkanes by reacting a series of halogenoalkanes that contain the same basic alkyl chain but differ in the halogen they contain. For example, looking at the base hydrolysis of chlorobutane, bromobutane and iodobutane. The mechanism for all the halogenoalkanes is the same. The nucleophile, in this case a negatively charged hydroxide ion, attacks the electron deficient carbon with a delta positive charge. The bond between the halogen and the carbon then breaks by heterolytic fission to create a halide ion and a bond forms between the carbon and the hydroxide. The progress of this reaction can be followed by carrying out the reaction in an aqueous solution of silver nitrate in a water bath to produce heat. As the halide ions are formed, they immediately react with the silver nitrate to produce a precipitate of silver halide. By timing the appearance of the precipitate, it is possible to work out the order of reactivity. It might be expected that the greater the polarity between the halogen and carbon, the more reactive the halogen or alkane. Bond polarities decrease going down group 7. As a result, we would expect that in our experiment, chlorobutane would undergo hydrolysis the quickest, and iodobutane would be the slowest. However, the reverse is true. This is because bond polarity is just one factor that controls rates of reaction. The predominant factor is bond enthalpy for the carbon to halogen bond. Bond enthalpies decrease going down the group, with the carbon to fluorine bond being the strongest. In our experiment, the weakest carbon to halogen bond is the carbon to iodine bond. Therefore, we would expect to see iodobutane sample showing the precipitate first, followed by bromobutane, and then chlorobutane. 